Um, so the, I got a lovely question on what if I, you know, if I had a, a, like a, a mental breakdown or severe disconnection, uh, what I would do. Uh, and there can be like uh, breakdowns or loss of connection when there's no energy or there's just a feeling to be alone or not even uh, things. So I do understand that as well. Now, he, I mean, here's the thing. Um, and I, I do understand as well, sometimes going to familiar groups when you're going through stuff you don't wanna, you don't wanna do. Like uh, uh, I joined a 12 step group for, um, you know, addiction to donuts. And, you know, if I have my regular family there, I might not feel I wanna go in and throw them in the donuts. Um, and, um, but uh, yeah, I do understand that. But I would say like, I have had these times when I felt blown out. It's not been for a very long time. Um, uh, I do get blown out very temporarily, but I'll sort of do the thymic thump or, or um, uh, but th there were times after my kidney failure where it felt there was no energy and there was total disconnection, not even enough energy to do anything and a huge resistance uh, to anything. A kind of uh, like a, a death sloth, a death procrastination almost um, and a uh, huge loss of energy. Um, I do remember I had the one thing, and, and I guess this was just me. I had my one teacher who was kind of like, you know, my my light, who, who, who is uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins. And I go, look, you know, I, you know, I can't go out. To, at that time, there wasn't a lockdown, but I can't go out to my local spiritual groups. You know, I'm stuck on a bed and I, I feel uh, deathly. So um, I would uh, just about have enough energy to stick on a Hawkins audio, Dr. David R. Hawkins audio, and I'd listen to him talking and laughing and answering uh, audience questions. And I had met him, so I knew I, I had a, a personal connection to his vibration, uh, his uh, the auric energy of the teachers passed to his students. So I just listened to his thing and suddenly I could feel like I was starting to feel more positive as I was listening to him laughing and talking and recontextualizing all the fears and problems of the audience and uh, just listening to his voice. And I knew his energy also transmitted, um, you know, his, his, um, his grace. So in that suddenly it was like, and suddenly like, you know, people would start to call, it seemed like people were calling me and I was trusting that I was starting to feel more positive and hopeful, more energy was coming in. And it was like I was tuning in to a different different wavelength. And uh, so I remember that having a, a profound thing. The other thing I've done, um, I mean, I've had a lot of what I call um, acute physical problems like pain and extreme agony and various things, which is sort of similar um, and extreme disrupt disruption, fear of death and kinds of things like that. And uh, what I did was I also know another technique, which I don't usually do unless I say like my arse is on fire. If, uh, I think people know what I, what, you, what I mean by that. If my arse is really on fire, then I have the willingness to do the Lord's Prayer at 100 miles an hour nonstop until God comes in with a miracle. And I'll do it so fast. And, I, and it's like, I will not stop. I will not stop until something happens. And I've done this uh, maybe two or three times in my life with uh, spectacular results. Uh, once, um, so once uh, shortly after my kidney failure, I, ha I had a huge gout attack. My hands were swelling like balloons uh, 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 with a huge inflammation attack. And there was like an agony, like it, it felt like a kitchen knife through my hand as it was just ballooning up with acid. And um, and it was just agony. And, uh, I, and I thought I was going, you know, it was, I mean, it was unbearable pain. And I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd, I, was, I had heard Hawkins say, yeah, the Lord's Prayer calibrates, you know, at the level of enlightenment. So I was just doing the Lord's Prayer at, as fast as I could nonstop, 100%. It's like calling out to God, like, uh, I think there's only a miracle for me, or otherwise, you know, it, it's, it's agony. And I was praying at 100 miles an hour, um, Suddenly this thing came in, because I, I refused painkillers, came in and this voice suddenly came in after I'd been doing the Lord's Prayer for a long time, saying like, just have a painkiller because I didn't want to take one. And I took one and went to sleep. The next morning I had a phone call. It was a good friend of mine. She said, oh, look, there's, um, there's, um, oh, the, you know, I told her I, I was feeling deathly ill. I can hardly move. I've got horrific pain. And she said, oh, 
there's a there's a nutritional guy in London who's looking for people who have got serious illnesses and what sort of guinea pigs volunteers. Uh, I'll drive you there. You know, I think she could, she had a heart and thought that you know I looked in a very very bad way. So she came and picked me up and drove me there, and um, I showed them. Uh, you know, I was like a paraded like a guinea pig in front of the audience, um, and the guy was doing this. Um, this nutritional microscopy and, and stuff. And uh, they all saw, all the students looked at my hand, which was so grotesquely horrific, like a swollen balloon. And I, I, I looked, you know, sort of really in, in total agony. And it was, you know, and they were taking their phones out and taking photos because it was just so horrific. And uh, and then so, and then the, um, the presenter, the author, um, you know, the lady from the back, I think he was his uh, helper, said, oh, we should use him. We should definitely use this guy to see, you know, for all our products and all our methodologies. And he said, yeah, yeah, we will do that. So they gave me, uh, it was a weekend uh, thing, and they gave me a free hotel room at the hotel where they had organic foods uh, supplied three times a day. And uh, they gave me all these exp expensive supplements of all different types worth, hundred, I imagine, hundreds of pounds. And they were taking my blood and uh, seeing, seeing how my blood was changing with their protocol. And by the end of the thing, the two days, it, all the swelling had gone and it was, I was completely out of pain. And uh, that was a miracle. I knew that was God's love. And, and the lady said, we should definitely use this guy for our, for our testimonial. Okay, do you mind? Do you wanna like, we'll give you our supplements for a year and keep a follow up on you and we'll send everything to you free for a testimony. Is that okay with you? I said, yes, thanks, that's all right with me. <laughs> send me all your expensive uh, products uh, for free for, for the next year and they did. Um, so, but you know, my ass was on fire and I prayed on like I was, my ass was, my, what I realized was um, even in the agony at praying at 100 miles an hour, um, uh, the prayer was heard. And every time I've done that prayer in that kind of way, like at 100 miles an hour, and I will not stop because I'm absolute hell in agony. Um, uh, yeah, it's always worked for me when I've done it. Um, but I usually only do it if my ass is on fire. Um, so praying like a lunatic, listening to a good spiritual teacher, uh, if you've got more energy, you know, going to spiritual groups, uh, Course in Miracles, Transcending, 12-step uh, work, um, various other things uh, gr and, and groups. So, okay, I'll stop there. Uh, press stop.